Hey everyone, um, I just want to share a little bit of tippet wisdom that I picked up today. I was listening to the audiobook of the Gospel of Peter. Um, I'm sure you can find it on my YouTube channel pretty easily. It's only about 20 minutes and most of it's commentary. And when I was listening to it in the car and walking the dog, um, I did gain, you know, I think we got an answer. A lot of people um, ponder and wonder and marvel about why Yeshua said on the cross, you know, why have you forsaken me? Because we, he knew the Father didn't forsake him. And when I was listening to the Gospel of Peter, what the Gospel of Peter talks about, and there's apparently other texts that talk about this too, um, is what that could really be translated as, which our canonical Bibles don't um, don't seem to portray very well, is what he really meant by that is, why have you forsaken his my power? Um, you know, the his virtue in him. And that makes perfect sense. Because, um, you know, we know Yeshua, why would Yeshua say, why have you forsaken me, when he already knew his destiny and all that stuff. Um, so I just gleaned that bit, bit of information that why have you forsaken me was really, he was really probably, likely he was really talking about the power he had um, and all that stuff. And, and that just makes sense. So uh, I think we could probably even read about that in Isaiah 22. Like um, he'll be a fastened nail in a sure place. But on that day, he'll take away that nail, you know, and then he'll be glorified, you know. So I'm sure when Yeshua said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He was talking about his quote-unquote power or whatever the word might be. Uh, so that's just something I learned today. Um, I really received that. I, I believe that's true. So, uh, all right, guys, I'll leave the Gospel of Peter in the description box. Anyone's interested uh, in that audio book. It's a, it's a good listen. It's worth a listen. All right, guys, y'all bless you. Good night. See you tomorrow.